Chairman. So, the first speaker of our session will be a, uh, Dr. Sun Zheng from um, the Zhejiang University. Zhejiang University. So, uh, actually, he's in the uh, principal yeah. investigator of Zhejiang University. And then, yeah, please give us a talk about uh, uh, HCC. Yeah, please start. Okay, so, uh, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Xun Zheng from uh, Zhejiang University, China. And thank you uh, for the organizer to give me this chance to present uh, our lab's work. So today I will talk about the char uh, characteristics of T cell subsets in hepatocellular carcinoma. So PD-1 immunotherapy has a lot of success in melanoma treatment. However, it still has uh, a very limited uh, efficacy in HCC treatment. Uh, moreover, comparing, uh, compared to uh, the non-viral or HCC patients who has around 20% uh, uh, PD-1 responding rate, HPV infected uh, uh, HCC patients uh, have worse re uh, responding rate, only 14%. So we know uh, the uh, HCC tumor uh, microenvironment is very complicated uh, uh, with uh, uh, many different immune subsets combining with a uh, tumor microenvironment. Uh, all these contribute to uh, T cell exhaustion and the tumor immune escape. Therefore, we have uh, uh, two scientific questions. Uh, uh, first question is, uh, what is the characteristics of the immune landscape of uh, uh, hepatocellular carcinoma? Second question is, uh, what is the fate of the T cells in the HPV positive HCC? So, uh, uh, to address these issues, we collected the tumor and uh, tumor border samples from uh, 25 uh, HCC patients, including 16 uh, uh, HPV positive HCC and 9 HPV negative HCC patients. And we also collected uh, 15 hepatic uh, hemogeoma patient samples. Uh, we use these samples uh, to uh, isolate single cells and to acquire the data from the mass cytometry to analyze the characterization of the immune cell com components and the uh, different uh, uh, immune subsides uh, and uh, uh, immune subsides frequencies and the correlation of the each subsides. And finally, we will identify the signature of the uh, immune landscape uh, in different patient groups. Uh, first, I, oh, okay. So for, uh, firstly, we, we use a, a visiting analysis to divide the immune cells uh, into uh, five big groups, uh, including T cells, B cells, NK cells, myelot cells, and the granular sites, uh, depending on the uh, specific uh, surface marker expression. Uh, then we compare the immune cell features in tumor and tumor border uh, in the HCC and uh, 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 hepatic hemogeoma by PCA analysis, we found the immune signature in these three groups are, are, are very different. Similarly, if we overlap the immune uh, cell uh, distribution by VISNI analysis, we can see the immune cell features in these three groups are quite different. In more detailed uh, analysis, uh, we can see uh, there are more T cells in uh, uh, T cells in the uh, tu uh, tumor and tumor border in HCC, but the less B cells. Uh, interesting, uh, we found uh, there are more NK cells uh, and the less myeloid cells in the tumor border uh, in the HCC. The, uh, both, uh, but in the uh, tumor and the uh, 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 hepatic hemogeoma, NK cells and the uh, uh, myeloid cells are, are, quite, are very similar. Uh, then we use the uh, X shift algorithm to generate uh, 31 uh, distinct immune subsets. These immune subsets, including uh, six uh, CD4 T cells and uh, 12 uh, uh, CD8 T cells, we can see uh, all the CD4 T cells uh, accumulate here and uh, CD8 T cells accumulate here. Uh, we compare the uh, frequency of the different T cell subsets uh, in the tumor and tumor border and found uh, there, uh, in general there are more uh, CD4 or, uh, T cell subsets uh, in, the, uh, in the tumor, which showed in, in the red. And uh, however, uh, in the CD8 T cells uh, uh, in general, uh, all the uh, CD8 T cell subsets are, 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 are more in the tumor border. If we analyze uh, 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 the surface marker expression of the T cells, we can see uh, the uh, T-reg and the exhaustion markers, uh, including uh, 
including CD4, uh, CD25, 4K3, and the PD1, CTLA4, uh, expressing on the CD4 T cells in, in the tumor. Uh, uh, for the CD8 T cells, however, uh, they express more of CD107, CD49A, uh, uh, these uh, local resident markers. And uh, of course, they also express more of PD1 as well. So taken together, uh, this data suggests that there are more uh, T-Rex and exhausted T cells in, in the tumor. Uh, then we uh, divided HCC uh, samples into four groups, HPV positive versus HPV negative, and the tumor versus the tumor border. By using PCA analysis to compare the immune signature of, uh, uh, of these four groups, we found the immune signature uh, in the tumor and the tumor border are very different. Uh, but in the tumor, uh, the immune signature are very similar uh, uh, in the uh, HPV positive and H HPV negative. Similarly, in the tumor border, uh, the HPV positive and the HPV negative samples are also very similar. Uh, so th this, uh, uh, in, in the details, we can say uh, the uh, the T cells and the B cells uh, are, are very similar in, in, in regardless of the uh, uh, tumor uh, or tumor border. Uh, but we can say there are more NK cells in the tumor border, uh, as we previously shown, uh, and the less uh, myelin cells uh, uh, in the tumor border. But we, 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 we see the, uh, a very different, uh, uh, the, the big difference in the uh, tumor versus tumor border, but no difference in the HPV ver uh, positive versus HPV negative. So this data suggests that HPV infection did not disturb immune signature too much. The biggest difference coming from the uh, tumor and the tumor border. Then we, we uh, compare all the T cells in, uh, in, the, uh, uh, in the tumor or, uh, uh, and the tumor border, uh, uh, comparing the HPV positive, which show in red, and HPV negative uh, patient, uh, samples. Uh, and uh, we can say in the, in, in the tumor, uh, uh, only C11 and C20 uh, cells are very, uh, different, but these two subsets, uh, the percentage is uh, quite, uh, quite low. However, in the tumor border, we, we did say uh, four uh, different uh, uh, T cell subsets, uh, uh, including the C15 and C, uh, C16, these two immune subsets uh, um, express uh, 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 PD1 and CD107, suggesting they are tissue resident memory T cells. Then we use uh, 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 immune fluorescent staining to, to confirm this. We, we use a PD-1, CD-107, and CD-8 to, to stain the, the tissue samples. Uh, uh, and by comparing the, the uh, HPV positive samples, HPV negative samples, and the tumor and the tumor border. And uh, we, we found in, uh, definitely in, in the tumor border, we, we uh, there are more PD-1 positive CD-8 TRM cells in, in the HPV positive uh, uh, HCC patients. So uh, we have, uh, 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 since there are more uh, PD-1 positive CD8 TRM cells in the tumor border in HC, uh, HPV positive uh, P, uh, HCC patients, uh, so we consider HPV, uh, if HPV infection will be one of the reasons to expand this population. Then we use uh, 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 multiple HPV specific attachment mixture to stain the CD8 T cells and uh, try to figure out if HPV-specific T cells are uh, PD-1 positive and uh, one, uh, CD-103 positive, uh, double positive cells. Indeed, uh, we confirmed uh, our previous result that there are more PD-1 positive uh, CD-8 TRM cells in the tumor border in HPV-positive uh, uh, HCC samples. And more importantly, uh, we found the percentage of uh, PD-1 positive CD8 TRM cells in HPV uh, tetramer positive cells uh, higher in the tumor border in, in the HPV positive cells, suggesting HPV infection may expand this population. Uh, finally, we want to know uh, what is the function of uh, uh, this population, uh, PD-1 positive TRM uh, CD8 T cells. So we, we thought uh, uh, this population uh, uh, and uh, did the RNA-seq analysis. By comparing the uh, uh, HPV positive versus HPV negative samples in the tumor and tumor border, uh, we found uh, 
uh, these populations uh, are more immune activate in uh, uh, HPV negative uh, samples uh, uh, in both uh, tumor and the tumor border, uh, whereas uh, these cells have, have more uh, metabolic uh, uh, pr uh, process in the HPV positive sa uh, samples. Uh, this data suggests uh, HPV infection will induce this population more exhausted. This may explain uh, why immunotherapy are less efficient in the HPV positive HCC patients. So our conclusion is uh, uh, immune landscape uh, is very different between the HCC patient and the uh, uh, hepatic hemogeoma uh, patients. And uh, we also find the uh, uh, PD-1 positive, CDA positive uh, TRM cells uh, accumulate more in the tumor border in the HPV positive HCC samples. Uh, and this population uh, uh, have more HPV specificity in the tumor border uh, uh, in HPV positive uh, HCC samples. Uh, finally, uh, uh, this population are more exhausted in both a tumor and the tumor border in the HPV HCC part samples. So uh, uh, I will stop here, and this work is mainly done on my postdoc, uh, my postdoc uh, panel in our uh, 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 and our collaborators, uh, including uh, Wei Jiafang and uh, Lulu Liu uh, uh, in the Department of the Oncology in the uh, uh, University, and uh, Wei Chen and Jun uh, uh, Liu in the Department of uh, uh, Cell Biology in the Zhejiang University and uh, also uh, we will in for the data analysis. Uh, thank you for your listening. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Zhang. Mm -hmm. So we can, we can take a question from the audience. So um, can you prove any mechanism to why the, those uh, CDA positive, the, um, the uh, resident memory cells are increased in the uh, in, in HPV positive cells? And so what lead that kind of some cell mobilization or some Differentiation of that, yeah. Uh, we 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 think uh, 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 in in the HPV infection. Uh, so or not only in the tumor, but also in the tumor border, or even uh, in the relative normal or, or, or hepatic uh, tissues, uh, the, the HPV already been there, so that uh, they already have a, a, a relative exhausted uh, environment, so that uh, these cells uh, may. Uh, may more exhausted uh, comparing to the, their uh, HPV negative counterparts. So that's why I think uh, we think the, 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 in, in, in the HPV positive uh, patients, these cells are more exhausted. You mean the chronic inflammation in the uh, background, right? Sorry, Dr. Zane. Okay. Maybe uh, three, so maybe we can, thank you very much for Dr. Zhang. So maybe we can move to 